Test starting now. All right. Already messing up with the spelling. get through this quick. <laughs> this is hard. Alright, I better just go fast. That's a big cutscene coming up here. There's a lot of... This takes a lot of time here. So I had to put it on the fastest setting because these cutscenes take a long time. But man, when you first play this game, they're so much fun. They're so much fun to look at. It's fun to find the different ways to die in these games. I better save it. So there's a maze coming up here that I'm going to have to save and restore a lot inside of because it's very easy to die in this maze. So there's going to be a lot of saving and restoring here. See, just to show you. <laughs> I think I just go normal speed in it. Make it easier. part is coming up right here. This is the hardest part of the maze. I need to go slow right here. Oh. That's what I get for turning my head for a second. <laughs> So this one you got to walk through it and then you have to walk back through it again. Duck under the archway automatically there. Come back in and go back out the main. Remember the first time that I played this, this was pretty tough to navigate through here. Figuring out which path to take wasn't too hard. It's trying to get them vines from getting you, especially in this area right here. through and back without that biting me. And seeing the deaths is so fun. When the bubble eats you, a lot of times it's worth it just to watch the uh, deaths on the screen. The bubble guy eating you. All that stuff. There'll be a twain here in a second. 
Where's the twain? There it is. Putting on fastest can be hard to control the guy sometimes. It's great for the cutscenes though. Alright, so in this scene here, you have to hide from the guards who will come on their little hovercraft thing, whatever it is. So get behind the tree so they can't see it. Put on fastest, that'll make them come quickly. Here they come. Searching, and there they go. Those guys will kill you if they see you. The berries is quite an unusual part of the, the game. When you first play the game trying to figure out some of this stuff, it's wild, but it's so much fun. You have a form with you when you start the game. In the early days when this came out, this was so cool. This is one of the most unusual things in the game. The berries rub berries on self because they're pungent berries. That creature poked his eyes out. It's going to come and eat me. But he hates the taste. Okay. You gotta take a deep breath here, otherwise there's a good chance you will uh, not have enough air and you'll suffocate, basically. <laughs> go, Roger, we'll go, go. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, oh well. This is so cool, these little caverns and stuff. Jim. And we got to do the same thing on the way back. So you can swim all that way with all that air. Just once. If you stay down here too long, you'll run out of oxygen and die. There's so many fun ways to die in this game. It's so much fun to play and just watch those <laughs> ways. You gotta save it a lot, but I'm saving it just in case I die on accident. Which in the maze I did a couple of times. Okay. Well, there he is. But the rubbing berries is so unusual. I don't like this location. Let's get out of here quicker. Slow down a little bit. cutscene coming up here. No way to get around that. You gotta talk to this printer like guy twice. Throw the spore at him, he'll pass out. Take the key. Unlock cage. Open cage. Take rope. And it's so much fun to look at this stuff and exp to look around at stuff. I'm not doing it for time frame, but there's so much humor in this game. It's hilarious. Alright, there's a part coming up here that's really hard. I definitely need to save and restore a lot. I better slow down. I'm going to walk off the edge.
This was a tough one to figure out when you first play the game. All this stuff here. Let's see, I'll come down to right about here. Save the game. Put it on fast. And swing. That's my F6 key. Got a Mac keyboard, so the F6 is a little different to find. Now this guy here. So he'll start waving his hands here in a minute. There he goes. There's one. Function F6, two, and let go. There we go. Gotcha. Okay, that can be a bit hard to get sometimes, especially with this different keyboard. Okay, if something was in there that would kill you if you're not careful. Gotta have the gem. This gem comes in handy, and it's great because uh, <laughs> he carried over to Space Quest 3. But I don't know if you can see, but you lose it right here, and you could get stuck in the game. But it's right back here. It blends in with the green stuff. So if you don't get it, you can be a big tr you'll get stuck. You have to have this to proceed in the game. For this part coming up right here. Alright, let me save the game here. Now this is a really tough maze to navigate, so. Put gem in mouth. So we can climb and see the ladders. Okay, here we go. This this maze is really tough to figure out exactly where to go. You can be in here for quite a while. I feel like I just messed up. I don't know. I've spent so much time in this maze <laughs> in the past. In the early days of playing this game. Yeah, you just put your own name in, whatever name you want back in these days uh, and then later they came to where they just call him Roger Wilco yeah see I'm already messing up here let's see I think I gotta go down and to the right nope obviously not I feel like that's wrong yeah this is gonna really mess me up here with trying to make this half hour time frame which I don't know if I can do it I feel like it's gonna mess me up that's the end Yep, I'm caught in this. Yeah, this is going to mess me up, man. There's one way to go right. Is there another way to go right? I think there's a place to go right and then you'll go farther down if you come yeah this I think is correct okay all right so this should get me out into the waterway okay into the waterway so there's two paths you can take here I'm taking the right one, which is the correct one. Go down this whirlpool. Well, that maze might have messed me up.
little Tasmanian devil type thing will get you pretty quickly. Let that or that will go. There we go. You have to word this just right. There we go. And here's where the key card comes in handy. Another really long cutscene here. This is going to be a while before I get to the next spot. One or two things I got to do. So I have it on the fastest. Take a drink while I'm waiting. Space Quest 1, when you get in the ship and do this kind of stuff, you can blow up. you got to blast the holes through the wall to get out of the thing you're in. Okay. I think there's one more. There we go. size cutscene here too. I'll count the whole thing as one cutscene, but there's a couple things you gotta type. Turn dial and pull thruster while you're waiting. Plus press a key to get. Alright, pretty soon we're gonna be on uh Bullhall's ship here. go. That's where we're heading. I'll turn it back to fast. Save it in case I fall off these platforms or something. Get in the elevator shaft. Level three. I'm gonna put on fastest. Sometimes there's a little uh, thing that will run me over. That thing. Yep. <laughs> That's why I saved it. It's hard to see when you go fastest. You can outrun them if you're uh, go the regular speed or so, but. Uh, you gotta make it into a doorway to get away from them. Plunger. Oh, there he is. Yeah, you can go away. Okay, this is gonna be t <laughs> this is gonna make it difficult for me. Here we go. Okay. All right. I didn't mean to come on this side, but I'm here, so. Took a little bit of time away, but I got away from that time. There we go. That's what I want. Oh, 
Oh gosh, she's doing it again. Man, I was right next to the door too. You know what? It'd be easy to just restore this guy. Just keep it on fast. <laughs> this will be quicker. <laughs> These little things taking my time away from me. He got me. Oh my gosh. He still got me. That little dude. Try this in case he's there. Be ready for him. <laughs> okay. Hopefully he won't be over here trying to come and get me. He's not there. He's not there. Great. I want to come onto this side. I'm going down to level five because the alien will try and kiss me and impregnate me with the thing. Uh, if I come in from the right side, so I want to come in from the left side and just avoid him altogether. That guy ain't gonna be over to get me. Good, he ain't there. Go back up. Not sure how I'm doing on time here. I messed up in the maze and I messed up with a couple of places, but. Closer to me. There we go. Retract. Scene here, not too bad. Okay.
action. Six. Okay. All right. Now this is a tough little spot right here towards the end of the game. This staircase looks easy to navigate, but it is not. It's very easy to fall off of this thing. Got to stay in the little triangles here. In the middle, the little part in the middle of the stairs. Okay, I think I got it. There we go. This is a tough part here. It's easier to do if you can do this quickly. See, that's tough. Oop. This is the quicker way to end. You can go the other way and get in, but this way is faster. It's just really hard to do. You have to press this button and get in pod very, very quickly. And that's not going to do it. I wasn't close enough. Oh! You got to know what you're doing. Okay, slow. Press button. Close to the wall. Okay, here he comes. Right up on the button. Get in pod. Whew. Very tough. That's the fastest way to do it. You can go the other way, but it takes time, and it's easier, but it's very time-consuming. Take another drink during this cutscene. Almost done. Just one more activity to do. Ta-da! Okay.